Hi everyone, this is Jason from Realm Space Gaming. Today we're looking at 5 reasons why you should look forward to playing The Cycle Frontier. Number 1, the gameplay. The Cycle Frontier will see you the player dropped on the alien world of Fortuna 3 with one of a few basic gear items. As you explore and survive, you'll find crafting materials, mineable minerals and equipable loot, all while braving the dangers presented by enemies such as wild creatures, monsters and other players. You can take quests from one of a number of factions or just free roam on Fortuna 3 looking for targets and points of interest. Quests can involve anything from killing monsters and hunting to mining resources and collecting materials. Completing quests will increase your rank with each faction, allowing for more dangerous quests to be undertaken and rewarding bigger payouts, which you can use for crafting or purchasing loot. Ultimately, you won't be lost for things to do on Fortuna 3 and there are plenty of reasons to keep on going back. Number 2. The Dynamic The Cycle Frontier is a PvPvE game. Those of you who are familiar with The Division Dark Zone, Escape from Tarkov, or The Hunt Showdown will be familiar with this type of gameplay. You can play co-op with your friends against the AI in the environment, or take on the challenge solo. In many games, it's possible to get into a rhythm of beating AI opponents, and that can eventually become boring. But the PvE element in The Cycle Frontier means that you'll always need to be on your guard. Other players will be passing through the world at the same time as you, and you and your friends will need to decide if it's better to try to forge friendships, fight for loot, or remain hidden and try to complete your mission remaining unseen, like a ninja. Which brings us to number 3, the stakes. Many online games don't do much to punish defeat or reward success. You can always just begin another round if you lose, and winning nets you a victory screen or a chicken dinner. In the cycle frontier, the stakes are a lot higher. Death will mean the loss of all the equipment and materials you found in the session that you die in, as well as the equipment that you brought in with you, making for high risk, high reward gameplay. This means that many players won't want to engage in pointless fighting. Your backpack has a weight limit, it's upgradable, but ammo has a weight as well, and you only have what you bring in with you, so you need to conserve and weigh up the advantages of each fight. Number 4. The Barrier of Entry Games like Escape from Tarkov feature an insurance system, granting you back some of your gear after you are defeated. This means that you don't start from square one and lose everything if you take in all your most valuable equipment. The Cycle Frontier will also feature an insurance system, but it's a bit more open-ended, granting you back the value of your equipment, at least in part, allowing you to choose a different loadout each time. There's also an inventory slot, which will retain its items each time you die. This will allow you to keep your favorite item with you regardless of how many times you find yourself in an unlucky scenario. Another advantage of the Cycle Frontier is that the game will be free. There is a battle pass planned, but it's unknown if this will grant any significant advantage. Finally, number 5, the setting. Usually story is seen as the least important part of any competitive gaming experience, but Jaeger, who previously developed Spec Ops The Line and is currently working on Dale Island 2, have laid the groundwork for an interesting world, giving players plenty to look forward to discovering and exploring. With maps that rotate on a 6 hour timer, dungeons to explore and a world to scavenge, there's a lot to look forward to in the Cycle Frontier. That wraps up today's video everyone, we'll be covering the Cycle Frontier up to a non-beta release. The closed beta runs from March 16th until April 4th and we've made a video guide detailing how you can get keys to join the action with your friends. Link is in the description and in the panel at the end. Hopefully, you're as excited as we are, and if you like what you've seen so far, like and subscribe if you want the latest coverage of the Cycle Frontier in your feeds. As always, a big thanks from us at Realm Space Gaming, and we'll see you on Fortuna 3.